Hello, this is the project called Tiny House Flyer. Um, we talked a little in this class where explaining the idea that graphic design does not have to be done in a really expensive, uh, really complicated program such as Photoshop. We are going to be using Photoshop a lot in this classroom, but I wanted to get home the idea that you can use many, many different things to actually create graphic design things like we sketch out on paper and stuff like that but you can use paint which we're going to do here you can use google slides you can use websites there are many different ways that graphic design um, plays a part and photoshop is just one of those tools you can use to polish up your designs basically so this is the idea of what we're creating okay so i'm going to go back to just chrome here and you're going to log into canvas this is our, just a, a home page there Go to modules here, and I'm going to go my taint, tiny house flyer paint 3D. And this is some basic um, requirements here. It talks about Photoshop is overwhelming, just what I explained before. You don't have to use Photoshop. Basically, the below is a link to a folder, a Google Drive folder. So, this is a folder where every different image file in here you're going to download to your computer. So, yes. So you need to click on the door, don't click on the door, the door, and you want to download that file. So you're going to download it. It should come up right there. Okay. And then you come back and just click on this gray area. This is the video. And you need to download the Google, I mean, sorry, it's a um, Word document, basically. So you're going to click File and then Download. And you have to click on a Microsoft Word. So this is going to download. So they can close that now. You've got to open up the wheel. And you're going to download that. Every single thing that's an image file is you're going to download. In the window, do the same thing. Download it. Now I'm clicking for siding. And we're going to download that as well. Okay. So we've downloaded all those things. Uh, this is just the video that I'm creating now. Okay. So that's the Google, uh, Google Drive folder. And you have to have everything. So now what we're going to do is actually going to um, close this right here. So we're going to open up and start using paint. So paint says so the P. And so we're actually going to go down to the P's. Uh, this is an alphabetical list of everything. And so paint 3D. So we're going to start with a new project here. It's just a white screen here. And I can zoom into that a little bit. Right. So what we're going to do here, start with a black. And then what I'm going to do is three shapes, and I'm going to use this cube. This is a cube here. So I'm going to create just a, just a generic cube like this. Okay. And what I'm going to do first, so you can actually see that it's 3D here. It's got the ledges there. I'm leaving back on zero. What I'm going to do is actually now click on stickers. I want to add a sticker to it. So it's got this folder and I can add a sticker. It's already default folder. Add a sticker. And you want to find that in your downloads folder, the wood siding right here. Download the wood siding. And you open that. It's got the wood siding right here. You can actually stretch it to make it fit everything. So you can actually can stretch it over like this. Okay. And it's a check mark. Then you're going to select that again, rotate it around all the way 90 degrees. If you hold down the shift key, it creates 90 degrees. And then we'll do the same thing again. Uh, sticker, add wood panel. And this one, you just make it, I think you just make it fit. And it should almost fit, but you have to stretch it out. Okay. So we're going to click this check mark here. And then uh, we're going to do that again. Oh, sorry, to the side. 90 degrees. Click off of it, choose a sticker, and it's a wood panel. Yes. So we're going to come up here, wood panel, and make it the full size here and stretch it. So basically, we're going to make the square have a wood panel look. Check mark, and we rotate it the last little bit around here. Yes, and then we're going to click, click off. It's got a sticker, wood panel. And just 
just kind of like right here. And then I can nice just make it there and stretch it down. And then we'll click check mark. So we've got actually an image or box here. It's like all four sides look like they're wood panel. Okay. So you get this 90 degrees. So next thing you want to do is go back to 3D shapes and we're going to create a cylinder shape. Okay. So we're going to actually create a cylinder shape and it's like a long cylinder like this. And what we're going to do now is flip it up on the end so it looks like it's. You need to hold the shift key on, it goes to 90 degrees. And again, I'm holding the shift key on so it goes right to 90 degrees. And then you have this wheel looking thing. So we're going to a trailer. So we're going to actually go to stickers again. And then we're going to add a sticker. Now, this one, we're going to go and find the wheel. And click open. Now it's got this wheel here. So I can just drag it down. It came up right there. We just drag down over this. Now we need to make that smaller. Mm, that was a little bit too small. So I'm try to put this in the middle here. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so we got a wheel there. Okay, so now you're going to click on this wheel, activate it. Now if you hit the uh, copy, that's Control C, and we're going to be using that in Photoshop as well. That's going to be a test question. Control Z and Control V, what does it stand for? So Control C is copy, so I can do that, and then Control V. It just makes it just a little boop thing, and basically just notifies you that we're having a copy here. So we got a second wheel there. Okay. Now these wheels, um, if I select the wheel, it's behind us, and what I can do is. I want to, um, let's see how I do that. Oh, yes. uh, yeah, I can go to 3D view and then make it go to the foreground. Yeah. So what you're doing here, I'm going to go back to 3D view. So this is a regular view. Now I'm going to click here. So this is actually your Z axis. So what I'm going to do here is I click on that and it lets me move it forward or backwards. So I'm going to move it forward to where it's got, it shows me the middle of the wheel is in front of the house. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Hold it down. So I can move. Showing my, it's cutting through the house and it's right there in front. Okay, so I'll actually put it right here. So these are on the same plane now. So I can click on this one and make them kind of in the middle. So now it's on front of the house. Okay, and I want to place these kind of um, where wheels should be on a trailer. Okay. And so what we're going to do is we're going to make a fender around that. So what we're going to do is actually go to 3D shapes. We need to go to the doodle, this uh, sharp edge here. So what we're going to do is click on the screen where you want your start your little, um, I guess, fender thing. So we click here on the screen and we're going to draw a straight line. So starting with the fender. Come down here and just drawing a little fender. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It's not rocket science. I mean, that's that's great. You know, okay. Now what we're doing is we're actually doing another doodle here. And so you can make that. And then we're going to do the Z axis to make that look about right. Yeah. So we're going to click on this and do another doodle. And so this one we want to fill in. We don't want those uh, wood pattern back there because underneath a Underneath, it doesn't show that, so we're just going to make that built in right there, okay? And this one will come and make uh, yeah. and we can actually we'll rotate around to make it thinner. So it's it's a box here. We want to make it thinner. So I'm going to grab the box, 
make it thin, move it back around, and it's going to be negative 90 degrees. You can hold the shift key down, it makes it 90 degrees. And I would just make that right where it needs to be. Okay. And I can, you know, then use the Z key and just make sure that we all go that right there. So you need to see both wheels. It's in the back there. Okay. So you got the fender that goes around. If I can go to three view, I can see that fender. And you can check it with a fender with three view. Okay. You can't do anything in three view. It's just showing you what you're looking at. Okay, now what I'm going to do is actually going to select all these things, hold shift key down, and I select multiple things. We do, and same thing in Photoshop, and then I select that. So everything else is selected. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to group that together. So it's grouped. So now I'm actually going to select everything, and I need to rotate around like this. Okay, and now I select that group. And I'll hold the shift key down and C, copy, and then paste. Okay. Now this one I'll just drag over here. I'll hold the shift key down and it drags in like this. What I'm going to do is actually now, well, I'm not going to rotate it. Rotate this way. And it's 300 degrees. Okay. See, like this. And now we can rotate that around and see what it looks like. Make sure it looks good on this side. So you got the wheels, okay? Wheels going on. Okay, now we need to put some windows on this. So we're going to roll around to the side. Okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to add a sticker, another sticker here. So add another sticker. We need to actually use a window. So I'll click open. What we're going to do is that put two small windows up here and one long one that kind of stands up. So we're going to make this a little smaller, about this size. So this window here, make it a little bit smaller. Check mark. Do that same window again. About the same size. Just mm. right. go up there. Okay. And do a third window. And this one, we need to rotate it. If you hold the shift key down, it forces you to make it 90 degrees. And uh, this one, we're going to put vertical like this, okay? Click check mark. So that's one side. Um, you can see that the, it's just actually only seeing one side, so that's fine. So now we're going to rotate around everything like this. And we're going to rotate it to the front. Okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to add a door. So we're adding a sticker and add a sticker here. So now we're going to add a door here. So just make that a door. And then we're going to make that the right size there. Okay. Check mark. And then we're going to add another window. This one we're going to have to rotate around again. Hold the shift key down, 90 degrees. Then you got the window. Okay, the door and the window. Um, what you want to do now is we're going to add a roof. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to go back to 3D shapes. Use another uh, sharp edge doodle. And what you're going to do is go in the middle and hit, like click your mouse. That's your first one. Then come out here to the edge here. And I'm going to make mine a little thicker, like this. I have like a little edge there. This, and then go up, and then I come over here. So I got my roof, okay? It's pretty simple. So we just move everything around, rotate around. And what we're going to do, just right 90 degrees. And then select that image, and we're going to just stretch it out this way. And we'll stretch it out this way. So I have a little ring, okay? Like root shit. Now we're just gonna rotate back around. So that looks good. Uh, if you need to, it's kind of like a little bit off. It's I like guess not super. It's not rocket science or anything, but you actually can make it squish it. If it's a little tall, then if you need to like squish it this way, squish it that way. Okay, just make it work. Okay. The next thing we're gonna do is select everything again. 
Oh, sorry. It's like everything. Rotate that around to 90 degrees. And then what we're going to do is make some final steps. So we're going to actually use this cube here. And we're going to add the wood pattern. So we're going to add the wood pattern. And I'm going to cube. And I'm going to make a step. Okay, so I'm going to start here. And I come out like a step. Like this. It's got the cube. So now what we'll do is we'll um, duplicate the cube, basically. So we're going to do uh, copy here, copy. So control C and then control V is for paste. Paste it. And now we'll just move it down a little bit lower. Like a step here. And then we'll do it one more time. So control V and paste. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't actually paste at the time. Let's see if you have that paste it there. So I got some steps. And what I'm going to do now on this second step, I'm going to make it the full length right here. Actually, I'll just make it a little bit longer. So in this first one, I'll make that one a little bit longer too. And then third one. Oh. The bottom one, I'll make that. Okay. Um, so now we're actually going to take everything, rotate around, and see that, that that little thing right there. So what we're going to do is these, we're going to just hit the shift key, and we're going to like, um, sorry, if you blend those together. I don't know if it's playing us. Anyway, okay. Uh, it's not going to last, but that's fine. No, we'll just select everything. No. Um, there. No. Let's see if it's there. And do it this way. Well, I guess we're not doing it. Okay. So we just take those two sides. We'll come out. And then we'll go to this side. Over here. Now we're going to actually grab the first one here. For some reason, it's in the last group one together. So I'll make that step there. Okay. And just zoomed in. So they can take these. I don't know why it's not letting me select those. Yeah, maybe then shift here and shift there. Okay, now it's all three. What I'm going to do is. Uh, now I guess I can group those together. Okay. So you can do it here. Okay. And what I can do is actually move those up a little bit. So it's the right step. Again, this is not rocket science or anything like that. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your little image here and you can rotate around, see what it looks like. You can rotate it down. No, not this way, but you rotate it this way. Or however you want to look. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do here is now we're going to actually click a menu up here and we're going to save as. And we're going to click a 3D model and we want to save it to our network drive. Mine has my ID number, my uh, initials, but yours will have your ID number. And you just want to save it to that. So that's fine. We can name it so untitled. You know, let me see. Click save. Click save. It's going to save your uh, little house. Okay. And then we're going to go back to our. You know, we downloaded the the um, picture here. And so, if you need to, you can open it up so you can grab a, your. Um, like click on a folder here, and then click on downloads, and it's got like the tiny house flyer. Which I have open, so I'm gonna go open up the second one. So I got this flyer here. What I'm gonna do is go to insert, and I choose the 3D model, and then from a file, and I need to go back to my name, and go all the way down. I think it's this on top right here. So I'll click insert, and it's gonna insert another one. Okay, and I can get rid of this one actually. 
So we've got this one I just created here, and so I can rotate him around any way he wants to. Make him look like a, and I can make him the right size, and I come up here, make him this way, I can rotate him. Let's see if I rotate him. Hmm. Yeah, maybe like this. That looks good. Making full size is not exactly like the one that I actually did earlier, but that's fine. So you got your tiny house. Okay. And now what you're going to do is you want to click file. Save as, and this one you're going to actually save again to um, your ID number here. This is my initials. My yours will have your ID number. So click on that, and you want to call it is Tiny House Flyer document. So I got the name. So you click save, and then what you're going to do is you're going to turn this into Canvas. So you're going to go back to your Canvas, and it I've not published it right now. It has this where it says edit. It'll say um, start assignment. And you have an upload button. So when you get to the step, if you, I'll come around and help you and get it uploaded. Okay? And then you actually can finish the sun. Okay? Thanks for watching.